You've addressed the risk of driverless cars to GEICO's business, but it strikes me that driverless trucks could narrow the cost advantage of railroads even if the number of crew members in a locomotive eventually declines from two to zero. Is autonomous technology more of an opportunity or more of a threat for the Burlington Northern? Oh, I would say that the driverless trucks are a lot more of a threat than an opportunity to the Burlington Northern, and I would say that uh, if, if driverless cars became pervasive, it would only be because they were safer, and that would mean that, that the overall economic cost of, of uh, auto-related losses had, had gone down, and that would drive down the premium income of GEICO. So I would say both of those and aut autonomous vehicles, uh, widespread, uh, would hurt us uh, if they went to, if, if they spread to trucks, uh, and they would they would hurt our auto insurance business. I think my personal view is that they will they will certainly come. I think they may be a long way off, but but uh, uh, that will depend. It'll pr probably, frankly, depend on on experience in the first. Uh, early months of the, uh, of the introduction in other than test situations. And if, if, uh, if, they, if they make the world safer, uh, it's going to be a very good thing, but it won't be a good thing for auto insurers. And similarly, if they learn how to move trucks um, more safely, there tends to be driver shortages in the truck business now. It obviously uh, improves their position vis-a-vis -vis the railroads. Charlie? I think that's perfectly, perfectly clear. Yeah. <laughs> Finally approval, all these years. 